Hi, this is Brina Jeff from High Fashion Sewing in Grand Junction, Colorado. This is another tip for the 7 Series owners. I have sold so many of these machines that I just absolutely love this model, the 7 Series. There are a few little tips I can give you to help you uh, take care of your machine at home. Today, I turned on a 790 and the light didn't turn on. There's supposed to be some wonderful stadium lighting underneath here. And this happens through transport or for some reason the sewing machine just turns the light off for no apparent reason. I'm going to step you through the process to turn the light on yourself. You don't need to bring it into your dealer. We are going to touch the little setup menu, which is the two little gears. Then we have a menu here. We are now going to touch the bottom right, which looks like a sewing machine. And then we have top middle menu. It looks like a light bulb. Touch it. And then see that little red circle? That means our lights have been turned off. We're just going to touch that switch to green and voila, we have lights again. So that was a short little tip. Let me show you another tip that happens. You turn your machine on and you're pressing icons and nothing's happening or you press a straight stitch and the zigzag stitch turns on. That is a screen calibration issue. You can recalibrate the screen either through this menu, but a lot of times it is so far off, no matter what button you turn, you can't get to the uh, uh, settings menu. So I'm going to turn the machine off, let, let it download, let it turn off, and I'm going to turn it back on while holding these two buttons in. So I'm going to set the camera down just for a moment hold these buttons in while I turn it on and continue holding them in until the screen boots up. All right, I'm holding those two buttons in and it's going to take 30, 40 seconds. It seems like a long time, but that uh, screen will boot up to a white screen and be more prepared than I am right now. Have a stylist handy. You don't want to use the tip of your finger, if at all possible, to recalibrate this. The tip of a stylus or the tip of a golf tee. Do not use a metal object. You don't want to damage the screen. But you want to touch these little bullseyes to recalibrate. Here we go. That's a little bullseye I'm talking about. So you want to touch that with a stylus. It'll beep, and then it moves to another side of the machine. Touch it. It'll beep, now it's on the bottom. You want to make sure you only touch with the tip of the stylus and not rest your knuckles on the screen because the screen will uh, sense those knuckles and it'll think that's where you want it. So now, when I touch the, the buttons, they all register what they're supposed to do. So I hope this helps you out. And uh, as you see, I don't have a light, so I have to go turn my light on. Thank you very much.